My name is Ardi Asten. I am a third generation beekeeper and I carry this tradition that has been in our family for over a century. In addition to beekeeping, we have produced beekeeping equipment for seven years now. I think that I know what beekeeping equipment should be like to make beekeepers work more convenient and efficient. Hello, time has flown by. It's middle of April and it's time to swap the bottom boards. I use wooden boards with winter and summer positions. With summer position goes an entrance reducer. All the each boxes have flight entrance. The purpose of this entrance reducer is to keep the high warm in springtime, when a colony has grown strong, needs more ventilation and larger flight entrance, we remove the reducer. I have used bottom boards with so-called drawers, made of perforated metal sheets, where the metal part has summer and winter position. But I considered them unpractical when treating a colony with oxalic acid vapor. There is too much of loss of vapor through such bottom boards. In springtime, such open or perforated boards tend to be cold and need insulating. This is extra material and more work. The bees tend to close perforation with propolis, what creates problems as well. This is why I prefer such simple wooden bottom boards. For winter time there are cracks and other openings for ventilation. These allow also passage for condensed water. How do we swap the bottom boards? The hive roof is a very important tool. It's a working surface. We place it next to the hive and can place the box we moved on top of it. First, we remove the crop protection fabric we use to insulate the hive for winter time. The colony feels warm. It means the brood rearing has started. Happy news for beekeeper. So, we remove the fabric, outer cover again. We use the outer cover to keep the fabric from flying away. How should we lift the boxes onto the cover? One way is to use raw power and lift two boxes together. This is hard for your spinal cord. A beekeeper has to spare his or her spine. We could lift the boxes one by one. That's time consuming. To solve this problem, I have developed a special tool, lifting cheeks. So first we use hive tool to separate boxes from the bottom, because bees tend to glue them together with propolis. We have to make just one move and they are separated. If we have a smoker at hand, we may use a couple of puffs. Hive tool into pocket. As you can see, it is really easy to lift the boxes from bottom to cover. This is an overwintered bottom board. As you can see, the wintering has been successful. There is virtually no dead bees and just a little of wax debris from uncapping the winter feed. The bees have already cleaned the most of the bottom themselves.
If we plan to use the same bottom board for summertime, then we just scrape the wintering side and turn the summer position on. But today we have a clean board at hand. It has been disinfected by blowtorching. We place it on hive stand with summer position up, fit the entrance reducer and are ready to lift the hive back. The colony is active. Good omen. They are very friendly. It's not the best weather condition today, but there is no intention to attack us. While lifting the hive, I assessed the weight. In previous clip I showed how to weight a colony using scales. The scales are perfect for the time when we do not want to open or lift the hive. But today we had the opportunity to assess the feed situation while lifting the whole hive. The hive is heavy and warm, so we don't need to open it. They seem to do perfectly well. The winter insulation stays partially in place, because in springtime a colony spends lots of energy on keeping itself warm. We place it under the outer cover for further use. This colony is okay. They have enough food, they have brood and they have quite a lot of bees. This is a beekeeper's joy. Thank you. The beekeeper could not resist the urge to hail a queen on a nice spring day. This colony has not just sufficient food reserve, it has excellent food reserve. With such reserves, it thrives another month until the start of dandelion bloom. The brood pattern is nice, the queen is laying well and young bees are already emerging. We can close this hive again. The problem with this colony, if it is a problem at all, is that it needs superring quite soon. Thank you for watching. If you like the topic that we offer, please contact us. If you want to see more of our activities, please like and subscribe.